Hey guys, doing an update. I just managed to get this in uh, fully installed on Sunday, December, December 15th. Sorry about that. Uh, it's the 13 inch Super Slim Free Float Tube by UTG Pro. Uh, I am changing out the brake. I feel like I like the brake, but it does put too much gas coming back at you. I'm thinking about doing a mock suppressor that slips over the barrel and uh, doesn't add length. So, like, about where this sits, and then from here, or give or take, um, will look like a suppressor. I live in California, so you can't really have a suppressor. But it'll look like a suppressor. Which I think would kind of make it look cooler, in my opinion. I added the a portion of my uh, Magpul XTM, just as a hand stop. Uh, I will be painting it to match the FDE from Magpul. Hopefully, if not, I'll Cerakote it. Uh, um, I did get my 45 sights back on it because I finally got the rail. The only reason why I took the the sights off was because the sh the rail and where this the scope and everything just it just felt awkward to have the 45s. Like there was too much. Uh, you can see too much of the front post. Not much has changed except for that. Uh, it's got a Veriforce, Veriforce Tactical Low Pro Gas Block. And they are actually made in Arizona. And as you can tell, there's a little Arizona flag on their gas block. Which I thought was kind of cool because I was actually born in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Look at that. You can almost see down the barrel if I get it right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it is empty. As you can tell, there's nothing in the chamber. As you can see, the bolt in the background. Uh, still got to repaint some of the stuff I've done. I'm thinking about painting these green uh, KNS Precisions to FDE, FD, or sorry, FDE. Haven't quite figured it out yet, but uh, uh, ambidextrous safety is. Uh, I'm thinking about getting in here shortly. But yeah, that's uh, that's the quick update. On the stag, I got that, and with the 13 inch, I finally changed it to the way I wanted it. I've always wanted to get the uh, the long free float, free float uh, tube. Although I wanted the 15 inch, yeah, I guess UTG doesn't make one yet, so 13 inch sufficed, and it actually only cost a hundred six bucks to me. I managed to find a deal on it, uh, and uh, I actually spent less on this free float tube compared to what my dad did. He uh, he went with a Parallax Tactical free float tube, but managed to get a blemish, so it only cost him, I think it was 140 bucks, and it's the same length, uh, just a little different. And it was actually already uh, Cerakoted in FDE. But, uh, I might get it Cerakoted, but I don't know yet. So, and there's uh, another quick look at the uh, Fail Zero M16 BCG. I haven't got to shoot it yet. It's not fully sighted in. Although the iron sights I know will probably be probably be pretty close to being sighted in anyways 
one thing I have to say with this scope is you definitely have to get a, a very close eye relief or it has a very close eye relief I should say you have to really choke up on the rifle that's why the stock's so low or so comp com compressed but that doesn't matter to me I'll run with that compressed all the way all if I wanted to uh, but that's it um like I said, I'm thinking of getting a mock suppressor just for looks. Although it probably won't do much for uh, performance, but uh, it doesn't matter to me. A, this gun will outperform anything pretty dang well. So, thanks for watching. It's just a quick little update. See you out in the range. Keep safe, shoot straight, and have fun. Teach others. Thanks for watching.